Good day guys, welcome to my channel and today we will be discussing the three ways on how to create a good research title. Today, bibigay ko sa inyo ang tatlong paraan kung paano gumawa ng magandang research title. So, although this may sound very pero kapag masanay tayo o nakasanayan na natin gawin kung anong ituturo ko ngayon sa inyo, I'm pretty sure na magagamit nyo ito once na magsimula ng manghingi ang new professor ng isang research title. So, um, creating, creating our search title, magiging napakadali ito kapag pinakaunang paraan na ibibigay ko sa inyo ay read, read, and read. So, napakahalaga. This is one of the basic skill na dapat meron ng isang researcher. But in another way, this is also the first way na gusto kong ituro sa inyo uh, so that creating our search title will become easier for you. So, Gano ba kahalaga yung uh, way na to, which is read, read, and read. So, first let us see kung ano yung definition ko tungkol sa parang ito. So, this is a step wherein the researcher must read varied existing researches and information from different sources to come up with a new idea. So, kapag kasi marami tayong knowledge na napapulot sa iba't ibang informasyon, we will just be surprised na meron ng marami ding ideya na pumapasok sa ating isipan na magiging research topic or could be a very good research topic and of course you all know kapag meron tayong research topic yun natin yung magiging basihan natin to come up with a good research title so that's it so that is the first way kung paano tayo gagawa ng isang research title and this is also a prerequisite uh, ng sa ganun magiging effective yung paggamit natin ng susunod na mga paraan na ituturo ko sa araw nito. So, the second o yung pangalawang paraan para makagawa ng search title is we find a title, modify, and make new. Uh, this way is pretty much handy lalong-lalo na kapag nahihirapan ko kung paanong, paanong pattern yung susundin mo sa paggawa ng isang research title. So, unang-una, dapat mong maghanap ng isang title let's say for example an existing research sa internet for instance so you can create a title based on that so let me just give you an example but before that so this is a step where in the researcher looks for an existing research title to use its format uh, remember so gagamitin natin yung format ng isang research title so that we can also create our own research title okay so we have here an example i found this also from the internet being a senior in ict a study about seniors using ict so for example you found a title like this you can modify this one and then the last step about this way is for you to change it into something new without leaving a trace that uh, meron kang kinokopyang title or anything because as i was saying research should be new so let's say for example you modified this title and you created being a senior and facebook notice na yung binabago lang natin ay yung ict and so of course being a senior and facebook and it would also be bec would also become a study about seniors using facebook Okay, and then the last step, we're going to create something new from this, something new from this title. It could become teenagers and pornography. Study about teenagers' addiction to pornography, and there you have it. So, meron ka ng bagong bagong title, which is uh, based on the title that you have found from the internet. And there would be no trace or traces na ito yung title na nakuha natin from the internet. So, again, we're just using the format para ma, uh, for us to come up with something new. Okay, now let's proceed to the next or the last way on how to create a research title. So, after this second way, 
find the title modify and make new we have the final way collect and combine so again uh, this tool in creating a search title also will depend on the basic skill which is read uh, read read and read or your reading skill because kinakailangan kasi nating matutunan o mabasa yung mga existing researches so kahit kasi may modify kang title uh, you created let's just say something new for you pero you found out later on na meron na pala existing research na katulad nun. That's why it's very important na magbasa, magbasa, at magbasa. So, let's proceed to the last one which is collect and combine. So, what is collect? So, what is collect and combine? So, this is a step where in after the researcher formulated mini research titles, he or she will then combine it to make a final one. So, a lot of researchers, especially students who are making researches, encounters yung magpapas ka ng title tapos eh, babalik, babasura ng professor mo kasi uh, for some reasons pwedeng hindi niya gusto pwedeng dahil sa para sa kanya it's already generic so paulit ulit so one thing that I can suggest to those students who are still on the process of creating a search title magiging maganda kung you are going to stick on one area of interest when applying this last way or step in creating a search title. So let's just say for example, first time you submitted a research title entitled Relationship of Company Performance and Employees Job Commitment. So yun yung unang title mo. But for some reason, ayaw na professor mo. So you submitted again uh, using uh, again or focusing again on the same field, which is about company performance, and you submitted relationship of company performance and organizational culture. Pero sadly, ayo pa rin ni Sir. So, you created again another title, which is entitled Relationship of Company Performance and Work Engagement. So, yun, nagpas ka. But, wala sa mood Sir, or for some reason again, ayo niyo pa rin. So, the final title that you can create out of these titles could be Taran, Relationship of Company Performance to Employees' Job Commitment, Organizational Culture, and Work in K. I hope guys that you learned something new today and you find this vlog useful for creating your research. So let me also know. This time, let me say goodbye and thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe.